Welcome back to Powerhouse. We've been showing you how you can save energy and money by buying the right light bulbs. But if you leave an energy efficient bulb on all the time, you'll be using more energy than you need to. Joining us now is Ingrid McMasters from Enterprise Lighting and Control to show us some ways that you can use technology to help you save energy with your lighting. Hi Ingrid. Hello. First of all, um, what is a typical lighting bill for a family, for a home? In a residential application here in the Midwest, 13% of a residential energy bill goes towards lighting, which is about $228 a year. Okay, I'm going to start this conversation off with some, an issue that I have at home, and I think a lot of other people have the same issue with kids. I'm always reminding them to turn the lights off when they leave the room. Do you have any helpful tips for that? Absolutely. Occupancy sensors are a great application for that. When Kids these days are so used to everything turning on and off automatically, and this can help them do that at home as well. This type of sensor is made so that when you walk into a room, the lights will automatically turn on and then automatically turn off depending on how you adjust the sensitivities in the particular device. So you can customize this depending on your needs and the movement in the room and all of that. It's that sensitive? Absolutely. And some of them are actually learning devices too. So it will know how often you enter and exit the room and turn off the lights automatically, adjust to your use. Um, these also, many of them can be adjusted to be vacancy sensors, which means you have to manually turn on the light every time you enter the room. So say you're walking into the room and out of the room and really don't need the lights turning on, you don't want the light to turn on and automatically shut off after 15 minutes because you didn't need the light in the first place. So a vacancy, vacancy sensor is better for that application. Okay. And is this also a vacancy sensor? This is an occupancy sensor that can be programmed as a vacancy sensor as well. Okay. This is a two level or two zone control which means that you can have plug loads and general lighting on two separate switches or maybe a fan and a light separately. So you can have them on different timeouts. You can have them so that the first load turns on automatically and the second load is a manual on. Wow, you can really get specific with the way you live your life in your home. Absolutely, and then change it out as you change out a purpose for a room. Okay. How about dimmer switches? Those can help too, right? Dimmer switches are great. Not only do they make the room more comfortable for you, say in a dining or a, a bedroom application, but it also will extend the life of the lamp by using it at lower than the full light levels. By installing an a dimmer switch, you automatically save four to nine percent just by installing it. The dimmers rarely operate a load at full. Okay, tell us about this. This is a timer switch. This type of switch is really nice for when you want the lights to turn off automatically after a certain amount of time, but you really don't want to use an occupancy sensor. Maybe the room is too big or it might be a use where you, you're going to vary how you're using it every time you go in. Like, let's say, a restroom application. If I go in for a makeup check, I might hit the five minute button, and then it'll go off after five minutes. Whereas, if I go in for a shower, complete overhaul, then I might hit the 30 minute button, right? Absolutely. Okay. I get it. Is there anything else we can do to save money on our lighting bill? Yes, I'm glad you asked. For exterior lighting, that actually uses about 19% of your lighting bill for your house. And most people will operate those lights all night long and you don't really need them all night. So if you use instead of a dusk to dawn photo cell, you might use a photo cell to turn on the lights and a timer to turn them off, which could save another 60% on your exterior lighting bills. Wow, it sounds like the more specific you get with the way you live in your home, the more energy you can save. Absolutely. This is great information. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like more information about saving energy with your lighting, check our website at powerhousetv.com.